All right, so welcome to Monday Night Live. Uh, it's great to have everyone here. Enough about that. We would love for all of you to introduce yourselves tonight. Uh, we've got a lot of people on here, but we would love for you to just say hello in the chat um, and where you're from. And then we'd love to hear, because of the topic of the class tonight, we'd love to hear your favorite budgeting tip. Like what is, what is it that, that you feel like is your greatest budget tip or budget hack? For me, my budget hack or tip would be spreadsheets. I love having spreadsheets do like monthly projections and all that about cash flow and all that. That that's my tip is that I don't know how people don't how, how people do all that without spreadsheets. So that's mine. Mine is I let him do his spreadsheets and we meet about we meet well, we meet every Tuesday and then he gives me an update once a month. And I just no, we don't, I just work it not spending a lot. So yeah, the spreadsheet. I use the spreadsheet, but I make sure that she sees it weekly. So and we just vowed to never go into debt. So besides our mortgage. So there we go. So while you guys are putting that in, um, we should probably introduce ourselves a little more. We, um, I think we did this before the well, before the official intro. We're Brian and Jody McKenna with Wise House Oils. We host this class every single Monday night. So if you're watching this live or if you're watching the replay on YouTube, know that every Monday night we've got a class with new topics, new things to talk about, all related to essential oils and health and wellness. And we've got a really awesome class for all of you tonight. So tell us a little bit more about that. Yes. So um, last week, uh, Haley Jensen spoke and she, no, she did not. I am, I was reading notes and I guess I should not do that. Wow. No, just there we go. We had crystals and oils. There we go in AFT, which was phenomenal. You have the link in your email because um, we did a whole team email today. So you should have gotten that. Those of you who are have already gotten started with oils. If you haven't gotten started with oils, we will talk to you more about that afterwards and you'll start getting fun emails too. But tonight, Virginia is going to talk and I'm really excited for her to share. Um, I've been getting to know her better the um, past couple of months and um, I've followed her for a long time. And so I'm really excited for her to share tonight. She's been a Young Living member since 2018. She lives with her husband, Mike, and their five kids in Vermont, where Brian's parents just were. Uh, when not using or learning about or teaching us about essential oils, she can be found in the kitchen, which is the heart of her home. So I'm coming to eat. Tonight, she's going to share with you how she ditched some unsavory products in her home uh, over to Young Living on a monthly budget and how you can do the same. You do not have to break the bank. All right. So without any further ado, Virginia, the floor is yours and we look forward to all of your budgeting hacks that you're going to share with us. Thank you so much. I also have Airsoft hacks. Uh, I have a whole spreadsheet of the rules of safety in case you need them, Brian and Jody, just in case. Well, I am the one that got shot. I'm not sure I need any safety rules. I think it's my son who fired on me from less than five feet away with a sniper rifle that made me help with, with understanding. He knew that that was not a rule. He panicked. He saw me like and it startled him and he fired without thinking about it. So. Well, thank goodness for Helicrecium and all the things. Absolutely. And um, thank you all. Like they said, my name is Virginia. And um, I'm really happy and to be able to be with you tonight. I'm going to be trying to stay on topic. And so I'll be looking down at my notes. Um, and Jody and Brian are going to watch the comments for me. So don't worry, we'll get to your questions if you have any or your suggestions. So thank you. Um, Gary Young, the founder of Young Living, had a vision to get oils and Young Living oils in every home. And that's one of the reasons that tonight's topic is really near and dear to my heart. You see, Young Living is exclusive. We're the only company, oil company with a seed to seal promise, meaning our oils and our products are the highest and purest quality that money can buy. We exclude inferior um, products, that are, uh, oils that are adulterated, manipulated, synthetic, we just don't sell them. And that's amazing. But I think that sometimes when people think about Young Living and that, that standard, they think that that excludes them from being able to afford to have this lifestyle. 
And so tonight I'm gonna just share with you that that is not the case. And um, I'm going to, so I have this, this challenge that I had made for myself is um, how you can, you can get rid of every major toxic laden cleaning and personal care product in your home and switch to Young Living products for under $75. Really, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. I just wanna give you that teaser, stay with me. Um, I wanted to tell you a little bit about myself and my story first. So I came to Young Living at a very dark time in my life for reasons that are way too lengthy to share in this, this um, setting. I was emotionally, physically, mentally, spiritually, financially drained. Um, I had spent the previous two years pouring into the lives of my family as we overhauled our diets and our lifestyles in attempts to help my neurodiverse children be able to thrive. Our first change was diet, and I spent nearly all my waking hours and a good chunk of our savings preparing literally everything that we ate from scratch from the highest quality organic products that I could find. Any of you familiar with GAPS and the, and the uh, intro diet? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's intense. Uh, then we added therapies into the equation, which took time and effort every day. And finally, we, we addressed the toxins in our home, what we were putting in and on our bodies, our home surfaces and our air. You see, the more that I researched, um, trying to get to the root of what was causing my kids to struggle, the more I realized that the chemicals I was exposing my family to through our food, our cleaning supplies, our personal care products were preventing my children from living their best lives. As their mother, I felt it was up to me to do all that I could to change their environment and change their lives. And so I spent hours, I spent days in the kitchen, really, days in the kitchen, hours researching and implementing treatments and therapies and hours more in the grocery store with my phone in one hand and the product bottles in the other, looking up what the ingredients were and if it was safe to bring into my home. Uh, then I learned that the personal care and cleaning companies don't necessarily have to list all their ingredients on their labels. And the products that I was paying more for, thinking that they were safe, were probably not much better than the ones I was spending so much time and money trying to avoid. It seemed the only solution was to make all my personal care and cleaning products like I did our food. But this all took such a toll on me that I actually began to believe that taking my own life was the only way that I was going to find relief from all this work. I loved my family and I loved my life, but I was so, so tired. About this time, Young Living came into my life. A friend invited me to an oils in the bedroom class. And since I was already so exhausted and had nothing left to give, including to my husband, I thought, well, maybe this will have something that will spark my joy back, spark something back so I can give something to him too. Um, what I learned though at that class was that not only did Young Living sell amazing pure essential oils, but this company had over 600 oils and products for all my cleaning and personal care needs. And this was an answer to a prayer I didn't even know I needed to pray. Because Young Living has such high standards for purity, far stricter than even USDA organic, I realized I didn't have to spend all those hours researching in the grocery store or making my own products. I could have everything that my family needed delivered to my door each month from a company that did all the safety and purity research for me. I finally got a glimmer of hope a light at the end of my exhausting tunnel. That was three years ago, woohoo. To say that Young Living changed our lives sounds dramatic, but it's really true. Using the seed to seal beneficial essential oil infused products in our home instead of the ones laden with hormone disrupting fragrances has eased the load on my children's bodies and brains. The air we breathe now is filled with beautiful oils that lift our moods instead of pollutants and neurotoxins that damage our bodies and our lungs. The supplements from Young Living have, given, have helped our bodies give, have the nutrients that they need to live abundantly. And the community that I found with Young Living helped pull me from the depths of depression. And the time that that gave me back to my family is priceless. Um, but what are my kids? Well, they're still, still neurodiverse. That's something that they're probably going to be their whole lives. 
but they're thriving in a way that only seemed like a dream before I found Young Living. So that's a bit of an overview of my story. Broad, broad paint strokes. I'd love to talk individually if any of you have questions. Um, but it maybe gives you a clue of why I'm so passionate about um, Young Living and their amazing oils and products. What I skipped over though, was that it took me one year of, of working at it to get all of the personal care products and the cleaning products out of my home because I had a budget and there are seven of us in the home if you did the math. So my budget was $75 a month and that was for everything that we needed. So, but after I had used Young Living products for a while, I learned that there's a lot of products that you can use that have lots of different purposes. And there's other ways that you can use, and I'm sure some of you have probably put them in the chats. I have not been looking, so I don't want to get distracted, but of ways to stretch the products that you have even farther. Um, if, tonight I'm sharing my top five multitasking products and how to use them in your home. If you want to switch your home entirely and you're willing to be a little creative, uh, you will need these five products, charcoal bar soap, Copaiba Vanilla Conditioner, Thieves Denturum Toothpaste, Lavender Lip Balm, and of course, Thieves Household Cleaner. I do have a handout that's gonna include the recipes and like exactly step-by-step -step how to do this. Um, and I think either Jody and Brian will put it in. Yes, they're gonna put it in the chat at some point. Um, so let me just go over what these products are and a little bit of how you can use them and then I won't have too much more. Um, so the first one is charcoal bar soap. Made with the absorption properties of activated charcoal, Young Living's charcoal bar soap removes dirt and impurities without stripping the skin's natural moisture barrier. Its naturally dry formula also includes powerful skin cleansing agents, moisturizing ingredients, and the bright fresh scent of orange blossom premium essential oil blend. It's gentle enough for your face, good for your body, and um, especially if you have a little bit of more oily skin, but it's good, you can use it even on um, your, like I said, your face, your delicate skin of your face. So with the charcoal bar soap, the, what, what you're gonna do with this is you're actually going to warm it in the microwave a little bit um, or warm a knife in hot water if you don't have a microwave. So, um, and then you're gonna cut it into several pieces so that you can use it in different areas of your home. You're gonna put one like on your sink. You can use this charcoal bar soap, of course, for washing your hands, that makes perfect sense. You're gonna use it in the shower too, as your soap or body wash. Charcoal bar soap also makes an amazing shampoo. Um, it's really, really great, especially if you have um, teenagers or boys, uh, but the, like that really greasy, dirty hair, it's really great for that. Um, but if you're trying to, um, get by on a budget and stretch your products. That's definitely one thing. You don't have to buy a separate bottle of shampoo. You can use the, the charcoal bar soap. It also works, although I haven't personally tried it, um, as a shave soap. If you have one of those shaving mugs and the brushes and you can get a really good lather and use your husband or whatever can use it for a shave soap. So um, that is five products right there that you've eliminated from your home with the one bar of charcoal bar soap. So I thought we were off for a good start. Um, the second one that I just love so much is the Copaiba Vanilla Conditioner. Now I suppose you can use any conditioner. It doesn't really matter. I just love this one um, because it is meant for um, dry, particularly for dry or damaged hair. And so it has that extra moisturizing properties, which we're going to need for the other uses that we're going to do. So um, like I said, it's specially moist, um, formulated to restore moisture and strengthen dry damaged hair. Um, it's scented with copiaba and of course vanilla, and it will leave your hair feeling smooth, manageable, and full of healthy shine. And all these conditioning and softening properties make the copiaba vanilla conditioner an excellent um, shaving lotion. So in the shower, you can use it to uh, just put some on and shave your legs or whatever. Um, it has just that nice barrier, but that moisturizer. You can also use it as an in-shower lotion. After you've washed with your bar soap, you can apply a small amount to your body and just rinse off gently, don't rub off. And it's like those leave-on moisturizers. You won't need lotion 
afterward, your skin will be soft and supple. So that's a great way to replace um, body lotion, but also use it, like I said, you can use it for shaving, you can use it for conditioner, of course, save some for that. Um, and then one of my other favorite ways to use this particular conditioner is to make a DIY fabric softener. This is, um, fabric softener is one of the worst products in your home as far as releasing the toxic chemicals into your air. And think about it, you're washing, I mean, even if you sleep with no clothes on, you're up against your sheets. You're always exposed to what you're using in your laundry. And so it's really, really important to get the fragrances out of your laundry and um, off your skin. So um, to make that, like I said, there'll be a recipe in that handout of how to make your own um, fabric softener with the Copiaba Vanilla Conditioner. Uh, the next product is the Thieves Denterome Toothpaste. And this is, um, this toothpaste is made with safe, naturally derived ingredients, such as baking soda and essential oils. Um, it also has trace minerals that come from the Great Salt Lake, and it helps to protect your teeth even after you're done brushing. Um, so yes, make sure that you use this as toothpaste. That's, that's something that is um, great. Now this one, work with me here. You have to be a little bit willing to be creative. Because of the baking soda properties in this toothpaste, you can use it as your deodorant. Um, you just put a small, like a pea-sized amount on your finger and put it on your armpits and it will keep you fresh and dry. And there's the essential oils in there um, like peppermint and wintergreen and that provides a freshness too. Um, so it might seem a little bit weird, but uh, this would be similar to a DIY product that you would make. I know probably many of us have seen those uh, make it yourself deodorants that have baking soda and such in it. So that's another way that you can use this. It also makes a really good grout scrub or tile cleaner because of those abrasive properties, the slight, the slight grittiness in it would polish your teeth. You can use it to polish other things in your house. Um, and because it's something that's designed to be safe in your mouth, it also makes a really good produce wash. So um, adding a little bit to like, take a little bit, rub it on your apple or whatever you're gonna eat, rinse it off. It's safe for you to consume now without you've gotten all of those, um, all of those things that come in on your grocery store produce, who even knows what's on those things. So um, let's see, that's three products and we've replaced 15, uh, 13 so far. So that's, that's how this is working for me. That's pretty good. Um, the next one is one of my favorite products all time, not just for ditch and switch. And that's the lavender lip balm. I, I buy this stuff in bulk. Um, it's great because it has a low price point. So it's one that it's really easy to give as gifts, but it's also one, if you're really close to a certain level, if you're on like subscribe and save and you want to get, or you want to get some of the free products at a higher level, it's really great to always just add a, add in a lip balm because it doesn't add too much extra to your cart. Um, this has, of course, lavender in it along with um, jojoba oil and vitamin E, coconut oil, sweet almond oil, wolfberry seed oil, and rosehip seed oil. So it's very moisturizing, very nourishing. It's my all time favorite boo-boo stick because it's easy to keep in my pocket or my purse. And it just has really soothing properties, whether we're talking about uh, bug bites or stings or cuts or scrapes or burns or anything. Um, it's easy for my kids to pull out and use and apply themselves either directly to the bandage or to their, you know, bug bite or whatever. And um, I tell them count to 60. The bug bite stops in 60 seconds. So they sometimes forget, but it works anyway. Um, so I love it for that. And it's also really good for dry patches. So if you need that, even though you've used the in shower conditioner um, moisturizer, it's if you have those extra little dry um, patches, it's good to use the lavender lip balm as um, just a little extra moisturizer here and there, elbows or wherever you need it. I didn't put this on the handout sheet because it didn't totally apply to ditch and switch, but um, I also use it for um, primer sort of for my eye makeup. I, I put it on my eyelids before I put on my eyeshadow and 
it helps the eyeshadow to stay on. I don't consider personally um, makeup an essential product. So I didn't include that in the ditch and switch, but if that's essential to you, then you'll have to work that into your budget later. But that's why, um, that's why I love that product so much. It's just amazing. Also, another tip with it is um, it's easy to use it to dilute other oils while you're out. Like if you wanna apply maybe peppermint or something, you don't have a carrier oil with you, using the lavender lip balm to help dilute the other oils a little bit and make it easier for your skin is another really um, great way to use that product. Um, and last, of course, we couldn't talk about a ditch and switch without these household cleaner. I mean, it does everything really. Um, it's, it's remarkable when you, uh, I went to the grocery store and um, it was literally both sides of one aisle and one side of another of all the cleaning products and all the, all the, the fragrances and all the things that you could put in your home. And I'm like, one bottle, these household cleaner, that's it. Um, you really can use it for everything, including laundry, including dishes. Um, you're not gonna get the suds that you would expect from like a regular dish soap, but you will have the cleaning properties of the Thieves Household Cleaner and it will be cleaning your dishes. Also, because it doesn't suds much, you can use it in your dishwasher as well. If you have an automatic dishwasher, a cap full of that will work if you've run out of soap or you're ditch and switching and you haven't been able to find a clean alternative yet. Um, it is non-abrasive. It is ultra concentrated. I was trying to think of the right word and maybe some of you know it. So, uh, you know, like servings, it's not really servings. It's 40, what? You can get like 40 capsules. That's not a serving. It's not an application. I don't know exactly what the right word is to call it, but 40 capsules in one bottle and one capful can do a 16 ounce cleaning bottle. One capful can be mixed with baking soda to make a soft scrub. One capful is used in your laundry. One capful is used in your dishes. So there really is a lot of uses out of this one bottle and one can last a long time. Um, it's safe to use around children and pets. It's safe for your children to use so they can be cleaning too, which is great. And it has, um, it offsets unpleasant odors with the rich, spicy aroma of these premium essential oil blend, which is one of my favorite. Um, you really can replace all the cleaners in your home, including glass cleaner, including, like I said, laundry soap, dish soap, it really does it all. And so that is five, that is five Young Living products to replace all the major personal care and cleaning products and all for under $75 member price. Ditch and switch made easy. But let me just say, if you're not a Young Living member, you will not pay, well, it's actually 72.50 is what it is. You won't pay that because um, you're not gonna be getting the 24% off. So if you're not a Young Living member, um, these would end up costing you about $95. Um, joining, however, is really, really easy. I'm sure that the, whoever invited you can help to walk you through that as well. Um, one way to do it simply would be to add the things that I've mentioned here to my cart and then pick one or two other products that are important to you. Like I said, maybe makeup is really important to you and you just can't live without lip gloss, although we're all in masks now, right? Eyeshadow or, or, uh, or mascara maybe it's the laundry soap. Maybe you're like, I do a lot of laundry and I just want to get the laundry soap, which is amazing by the way. Um, so like I said, add one or two more products to get up to that hundred PV level. You'll automatically become a member. You'll get free shipping. It's a great way to do it. If that is above your budget, if you really have just the 75, then um, I would recommend putting one of these items on subscribe and save. That will again, get you the member price and um, on the rest of your products and subscribe and save is just that a program that Young Living has to help you get the products you need and want every one, two or three months delivered to your door. And it's really great, it's all customizable. Um, if you are a Young Living member already, you do get the price 7250, but I would encourage you to think about if it's in your budget to go add, still add something else to get to that 100 PV, then you get free shipping. If your budget allows you to do it, why not? pay for more product than for shipping. So um, there's all kinds of other things that 
I'm not going to go into about how much you can save by being subscribed and save. That's one of the things that was really important to our budget, saving up our points and making those monthly orders so that we could um, afford to get the other products that we needed. Another thing was um, replacement buying. Think of your Young Living account as other places that you can you know, buy your Christmas gifts. If you have money set aside for gifts, can you buy gifts from Young Living? If you've got money set aside for you know, other things like that, if you get it to Young Living, on subscribe and save and build up those points, then it's more free product for you. But those are all tips and tricks for another time. This was really what I wanted to, to share with you was how um, if you're being creative and you're willing to think outside the box a little bit, a ditch and switch of your whole household can be simple and done on a budget and um, is accessible to almost anyone. So that's what I wanted. Hey, thank you so much for that, Virginia. Like it hit me as you were wrapping up. I was like, wait, she's saying you can basically do all of this in one month. I mean, you'd have to repeat it, but like everything, like this is genius. Like seriously, and all those, all the ideas of all the different ways, like like you just actually answered like a, or gave a solution to one of our, like our kid, one of our kids gets really, really itchy after a shower, but doing the conditioner on his skin, I think would be totally different because he always then dries off and he has to be careful how he dries off. And then he puts the lotion on afterwards. Um, but I wonder if this might be a great tip for him, but, and, and the fabric softener, like these are just, these are great. I love well, They were collected. You know, most of them are not like me, but collected. Like I said, there's so many people out there that have been doing this a lot of people are on budgets or, you know, fixed incomes or whatever, and we have to be really creative and there are a lot of resources out there. So, you know, don't let that prevent you. Don't let the cost prevent you. If there's, if you, it's something that you want, talk to people and they can help you to figure out how to make it happen. Yeah. We also found for the thieves toothpaste is um, our other son was breaking out really bad and he was like, mom, I need something different. And so we had been researching different hair products because he really likes to spike his hair up. And um, he this got, is the same son that shot me in the face, just yeah. in case anybody's wondering. And he, um, I don't know how he figured it out, but he used, he had his toothpaste up in his bathroom. And so he just used his toothpaste and then he got a compliment. And we don't think he uses, I don't think he uses the same brush. Like, no, I don't think he just stop. keeps going. He but, puts it in his hands. Yeah. But, and then he got a compliment on his hair that day. Like someone said, wow, your hair looks really good. I, I like the the look that you Actually, his, the, his barber asked him about it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's he's like, question. what are you using your hair? He's like, this is the hold on this is amazing. Like, he's like, how do you get it to stand up like this? He's like, actually, it's toothpaste. <laughs> the barber's like, really? So there you go. There, we'll have to try that. that. We used, uh, my son would use the animal scent salve. So it's a little bit thick. But when his hair got a little longer, it didn't have quite enough hold. So maybe we'll have to go to toothpaste. Right. And that that works, but it gives like the wet look, right? Like mm -hmm. if you wanted the real, the matte look, like the dry spiky look and so the toothpaste is like yeah perfect for that who yeah i don't know how he discovered it i don't know what made him think like hey i should put this in my hair and see what happens i have no idea but. uh brenda to answer your question he actually prefers the thieves whitening toothpaste but right now we just have the thieves aroma bright so that's what he's been using so Virginia, question for you, like talk to us about quantities of all this. You talk about you guys are a family of seven. So if you order just one of each of these per month, is that and, and you're using them for so many different things, does that last you for all that? Or do you have to ration a little bit and be careful about how much you use? Yes. <laughs> um, that will, you're not going to get very ahead if, if um, you have a family as large as mine. And if you have that budget, you're really going to have to be buying these products probably the same every month and, and not being able to get, to get ahead in that way. But what I had noticed is I started out with a budget of 75, but I was able to find money here and there, you know, like maybe take from the grocery budget because I'm not buying those things at the grocery store or um, like we have a, a plan on our heating oil, we only pay for a certain number of months of heating oil, and then we don't have that payment for other months. So 
setting aside something like that. And then also finding things that you just aren't buying anymore really begins to um, begins to add up. Or in the case of, um, you know, if you have a deductible for going to see the doctor or a copay, I mean, for going to see the doctor and you're not having to go see the doctor anymore because these changes are really affecting how the health of your family, all those little things add up. And so really, um, yeah. It's, and well, the other thing, what I didn't mention too, um, one of the things that I have dealt with in my life is, is migraines. And I was getting them like once a week and I, I get out for three days with a migraine. So when you think about, okay, not being able to prepare food for your family or take care of them, and then you've got takeout or whatever, all these things add up. So just having health back to our family has been a savings financially, not just physically too. So um, I, I notice when you're committed to something, it really makes it, you know, you can, you can stretch, stretch things and be creative. I also find the, the, ba the backbones, if you have baking soda, if you have plain um, cast unscented Castile soap, some other, some other basic things that you can also use to stretch things a little bit more if you need to, because the um, Young Living products are so concentrated and so good. Yeah, and you you brought up an excellent point about like avoiding, like using Young Living and, and using that to avoid getting sick and health conditions, right? Like the $75 a month is like, an, is an investment in your health. And it, it's like an insurance policy against a whole host of things, both in the short term and especially in the long term, right? Chronically, if you're not taking care of your body over the long term, your your risk in terms of budget, the budget you'd have to set aside to take care of your health care costs later in life is huge. So this money that you're investing every month is like a drop in the bucket compared to the exposure that you have for big chronic health conditions. That yeah, you especially with yourself. products that have loads of chemicals and stuff in them. Yeah. You know. So it's a no brainer, right? To, 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 to spend this little bit each month taking care of your, your health and your family's health to avoid those long-term healthcare costs. Absolutely. So I just want to open it up. The, are there any other questions that you guys have for her? You can unmute yourself. And if you are like, well, what do you do in this case? Or whatever questions that you have for her. Because Virginia is a wealth of knowledge. Sometimes. <laughs> You are. Hey, I've been, we've been using Young Living for 17 years and I have notes all over from what you talked about. So I learned a lot. So you are well. Well, thank you. All right. So Julia asked, any tips on getting Ningxia on a budget? Of course, this is mostly about personal care, but what about when you talk, start talking about supplements and Ningxia and things like that? Any any uh, bits of wisdom on that? Well, um, that that goes back to an investment. Um, for our family, um, the first time that I could afford to get Ningxia for our entire family was actually um, because I started sharing Young Living. And um, people signed up with me. And when you share and people sign up with you, and you get um, a commission then from Young Living. And that was the first time that I could afford to buy the So that's another way that I've increased my family's budget is because I use the money that I earn from um, sharing about Young Living and how much I love it to afford some products for my family. The other thing that we do, um, it, it, it's an upfront cost for sure, but to get the, do they still call it an ER kit? The, um, so I live in I live in the north. It's cold a lot of the time, but as for as many months in the summer as it's not going to freeze, I get the ER kit if I can, which is four bottles and thirty packets of the Ningxia. And by doing that and stocking up those times, then it can get me through a lot of the winter. Um, and then during the winter time, instead, I buy and stock up on those other things. So, you know, maybe in the summer, I can't buy much else besides my Ningxia. But then in the winter, when I can't buy my Ningxia because it would freeze, I mean, you can buy the packets, but the better deal is, is uh, per ounce is the big ER kit. Um, then, I, then I buy 
the rest, like stock up on my oils or stock up on my personal care products um, on those during those freezing months. And that way the budget can stay kind of steady, but you're still being able to get the products year round. Absolutely. And it is called, you are right, it's still called the NYX Red Essential Rewards Kit, at least for now. And yeah, that is by far the most bang for your buck on getting NYX Red. Um, and another, somebody else kind of mentioned too, that, that using your loyalty points, is a, that's a great way to, you know, if you're spending 50 PV or more a month, you're going to be earning loyalty points and that's going to start at 10% and then eventually you'll work your way up to where you're earning 25% back. So that's a great way using those loyalty points for Ningxia is a great way. Right, and that's also really where that other, you know, your your um, Young Living account is like your store. And if you're gonna get, you know, like now I'm at 25% back because I've been in for so long, 25% back in points of everything you're buying. So if you have money set aside for gifts or money set, you know, for other things that you would be buying from someplace else, can you can you get them Young Living products or get the products to make them a nice DIY or a nice gift basket or something, shopping at your own store. And then you use the points back to buy the things that you need. And so that really can also add up into a lot of savings. Absolutely. All right. Next question from Adele. She says, do you use the conditioner straight in the shower? No. Um, I, so if you look at, when you get to that sheet, um, I actually dilute it. I use one third of the bottle um, and then I fill two thirds up with um, water. I don't know that you have to. And my kids really aren't that tiny anymore. I just have this image in, of them just like using way too much product because it is so concentrated, especially like the laundry soap and other things. So I dilute most of the things so that I don't have that mama heart attack when they like do a palm full of product. And I'm like, <gasps> <laughs> you just spend it all but that's that's what I do I find especially the conditioner is very very thick and I find it actually a little difficult to get out of the bottle because it is so thick so at least by half if not by by thirds I usually will um dilute that yeah and I would much rather than sell it to me too thick than too diluted right i'd rather have the concentrated form because who wants to pay to ship water to you exactly right? and i'm sure that's what they're thinking why pay to ship water right so i can, I can add the water I can add, yeah i can add my own water when it gets to my house i don't need to pay to have that shipped to me so all right great um any other questions before we wrap things up here just scanning the the chat questions here um before, uh, so I'll give you another minute to put questions in and we'll just talk about if you're, if somebody invited you to watch this live tonight or if somebody sent you the link to the YouTube and you're watching this, Virginia, would you just share a little bit about how they get started? And like if they're, if they're new to Young Living, they've never uh, tried it before, what, what do they do to get started with Young Living as a result of seeing this video? Go to youngliving.com, put all that good stuff in your cart. <laughs> And then whoever invited you to this class, there'll be a place to put in their number for um, the referral, the person that's helping you along your long, young living journey. So that's a Absolutely. great. And if, if they just found this video on our YouTube channel, um, we'd love to share. Why don't you share your member number for us so they can use that number as a referral. If, if, if somebody else didn't invite you to this class, somebody invited you, like Virginia said, make sure you use their member number as, as the, for the referral. But if they don't have a member number to use, what's your number, Virginia? One six seven eight two five two six. All right, there you go. So just enter that in, and that will make sure that Virginia gets a little thank you for uh, for you using her as your referral. So uh, just a reminder: next week we will be back for Monday Night Live. We've got an amazing class in store next week too. Um, actually, we're going to have Rita Morell from Young Living Global Education is going to be sharing a class all about Young Living to support gut health. And so that you will not want to miss this. She's a certified holistic nutritionist and a bunch of other things like she's got all the letters after her name. She's really good at explaining gut health and how important it is. So you guys won't want to miss that class next week. Um, 
And if you want to find out how you can always stay in the know about classes that are going on or, or if you got questions during the week when you're not on a Monday night call, make sure you're in our Mighty Networks uh, community. So you can go to wisehouseoils.com and that will give you instructions about how you can download the app to your phone or just log in on the desktop version of Mighty Networks. And it's basically like Facebook for people who aren't on Facebook. So it gives you the ability to, to uh, meet other people in the Wise House Oils community, get your questions answered, find out when events are, all those great things. So it's a great way to stay connected, stay informed on all things oil related in Wise House Oils. So next week, we'd love to have you see all of you back. I already talked about the topic. Um, if you've got somebody you think really needs to hear about gut health, Make sure you invite them to the class. These class. All these classes are open to Young Living members and non-members alike. And I'll post the link there where you can join. That's the same link every single week, that bit.ly who-mnl for Monday Night Live. So you can join us every week using that same link to register in advance. You anything else you want to add? Before uh, we thank you so today? much for Virginia. We really, really appreciate it. This was a great class. And you guys, I encourage you to print out this handout because it's pretty awesome. Thank yes. You. And we will. So I posted the that handout in the chat here. So you all have that. If you're watching on YouTube, that will be down in the in the uh, description below where you can download that uh, PDF to, to use as a great uh, keeper to keep to uh, keep track of all this. And make sure you're using the, all these products, getting the most uses out of all those. So all right. Well, thank you, everybody, for being a part of this. Thank you again to Virginia. Big Zoom round of applause for her from everybody. And we will see you guys next week, if not sometime sooner, on Mighty Networks this week. Talk to you all later. Bye. Thank Bye. you.